In this video, we will look at the step response of an RL circuit. An RL or resistor inductor circuit consists of only independent sources, resistors and a single inductor. The step response of an RL circuit is defined as follows. The currents and voltages resulting from the sudden application of a DC voltage source or DC current source due to switching are called the step response of an RL circuit. In the step response, the external DC sources determine the circuit behavior and different from the natural response, the energy is acquired by the inductor due to the sudden application or abrupt change in the DC voltage or DC current. This is the circuit that is used to study the step response of an RL circuit. It comprises a DC voltage source, a single pole single throw switch which closes at time T0, a resistor and an inductor. The main steps in analyzing and understanding the natural response of an RL circuit are shown here. So let's put these steps into action. The first step is to understand what is happening in this circuit. This circuit comprises an independent voltage source having magnitude Vs, a single pole single throw or SPSD switch. This switch is open and closes at time t equals to 0, a resistor and an inductor. We assume a non-zero initial current I0 in the inductor, so the inductor has some initial stored energy at the time the switch is closed. Once the switch is closed, the independent voltage source now will determine the final value of the energy that is stored in the inductor. So this is the intuitive understanding of the RL circuit step response. The step is to formulate the circuit equation. We can do this by applying Kirchhoff voltage law to this circuit following passive sign convention. Following the direction of the assumed current, we start at this component. So going from minus to plus is a voltage rise. So we write minus Vs. The voltage drop across the resistor is given by Ohm's law as R times IT and the voltage drop across the inductor is given by LD by DT of IT and this is equal to 0. We can uh, rearrange this equation as follows. So we have LD by DT IT plus R I T is equal to V S and dividing both sides by L we get D by D T I T plus R over L I T is equal to V S over L. This is a first order differential equation and its solution is the step response of an R L circuit. We can use Mathematica to solve this first order differential equation. The Mathematica syntax to use is shown here. We can define the differential equation as follows and then use the desolve command and we obtain a symbolic solution as shown here. Thus using Mathematica, the solution is I of T is V S over R plus some constant C1 multiplied by e raised to the power minus R over LT and this expression can be rewritten as follows Vs over R plus C1 times e raised to the power minus T divided by L over R. So this fraction R over L can be moved into the denominator and written as L over R as shown. Thus in order to find the complete solution we still need to find the value of this arbitrary constant C1. In order to find the value of the arbitrary constant C1 
we carry out the initial and final value analysis. The results are tabulated as follows. Let t is equal to 0 minus denote the time just before switching. Let t is equal to 0 plus denote the time just after switching. Let t is equal to infinity denote the time a very long time after switching has occurred. I0 minus is the current through the inductor just before switching takes place and this value is given as I0. V0 minus denotes the voltage across the inductor just before switching takes place. Before switching takes place, the inductor is in steady state and under steady state an inductor acts like a short circuit to DC therefore this voltage is 0 volts. I0 plus denotes the current through the inductor after switching takes place. It is the fundamental property of an inductor that the current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously. Therefore, I0 plus is equal to I0 minus is equal to I0. Since current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously, at time T0 plus, the inductor acts like a current source with magnitude I0. Thus, we can draw the equivalent circuit at time T0 plus as follows. We have a voltage source. Vs and a resistor and the inductor is acting like a current source with magnitude I0. This is now a single loop circuit and the current here is I0 plus. Applying Kipchoff voltage law to this loop, we get minus Vs plus I naught R plus V L zero plus is equal to zero. So using this equation V L zero plus is given by V S minus I naught R. Thus we can find the value of the voltage across the inductor at time T zero plus. I infinity and V infinity denote the voltages and currents a very long time after switching has occurred. Under steady state, the inductor acts as a short circuit to DC. Therefore, V infinity is 0 volts. And now we can draw an equivalent circuit at time T equal to infinity. So this is a voltage source. A resistor R and the inductor is acting like a short circuit and this is the current I infinity. Now using Ohm's law I infinity is given as V s over R. Therefore this value is V s over R. This concludes the initial and final value analysis. We can now obtain a solution to the differential equation. According to Mathematica, the current IT is given as follows and the constant arbitrary constant C1 is given by I0 plus minus I infinity and substituting the values, this is I0 minus Vs over R. Thus the step response is given by IT is VS over R plus I naught minus VS over R e raised to the power minus T over L over R. Defining the time constant tau as ratio of inductance to resistance the step response is written in standard form using the time constant as shown here where in the exponent we get minus t over tau. 
and this expression is valid for time t greater than or equal to 0. The last step is to sketch the current waveform and understand the significance of the time constant. So depending upon whether Vs over R is greater than I0 or less than I0, we get the following shape for the current waveform. In the first plot, the initial current is I0 and it steadily increases until it becomes equal to Vs over R. In the second case, the initial current is I0 and this decreases until the inductor current becomes equal to Vs over R. In both cases, the transient response is up to 5 time constants and the value after 5 tau seconds is the steady state response. Finally, we compare the step response of RL and RC circuits. In the RL circuit step response, the solution is in terms of the current. In the RC circuit step response, we solve for the voltage across the capacitor. We can see the similarity between these two expressions. In general, uh, the solution is given as x of t is equal to x infinity plus x 0 plus minus x infinity multiplied by e raised to the power minus t over tau. Here x is voltage across the capacitor for an RC circuit and x is the current through the inductor for an RL circuit. The time constant tau is RC for an RC circuit and L over R for an RL circuit.